If you're one of the thousands of people who have one of these small engine tachometers, you can purchase on Amazon for maybe 15 bucks where you wrap the cord, you wrap the wire around the spark plug of your small engine. I'm going to show you how to easily convert it to one with an alligator clip, battery clip, that you can easily move from one small engine to another. Stay tuned. Okay, the beauty of this hack is you can do it with just your two hands. All you're going to need, you're going to need, of course, one of these little tachometers. Um, you're going to need a battery clip. These are, this clip is just some I had in my storage drawer. Um, I haven't tried any experiments with different sizes. It seems as, as long as it pretty well wraps around your, your uh, spark plug wire, it should work. And I'll show you here in just a minute on how to do it. You won't need any tools. Just the clip, this, and your two hands. And we're going to have you up and running in just a few minutes. out here running. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to move your tachometer from one machine to another. If you're going to use this as a test instrument to move between different machines to check the idle or adjust the carburetor, you may want to cut the length of the, uh, the wire off some. You can cut it off if you need to. 30 to 36 inches seems to be the average length of the test lead. It's up to you. If you do cut it off, Make sure you save it in case you need to reattach it. You can just solder the wires back on if you need to. So here I'm moving to these engines to show you some more testing. Alright, we're down to the nitty gritty now. We're actually going to put the alligator clip on. It's very simple. Just take your wire, the end of the wire, and run it up through one end of your battery clip. Run it up. You can open it up, the clip up, so you can get a hold of it. And you're going to be pushing it back down on the other side of the spring. It just goes around the spring and back down on the other side of the battery clip. If it's a little too long, if it's sticking out a little too long, you can easily just pull it back with the other part. Don't be too rough on it. But the wire does seem to be pretty tough. You can take bend these little keepers over. It'll just help keep the wire in place on both ends. There's not really no pressure on it, so just bend them over to hold them in place. And if you have, uh, if these covers on, put your covers back on the wire. And that's all it takes. I know you're mad that you didn't think of this yourself, but the project's complete now. You can try it out on your mower or other small equipment.
okay folks that's all it is to it you can complete this project it'll take you longer to find a clip than it will to complete the project i hope you enjoy this video if you do give me a thumbs up and i'm a new uh i'm new on youtube so if you subscribe to me i'd appreciate it thanks and bye bye